Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are drawing Melania. This is another one of the Elden Ring bosses. Um, she is a demigod. We're gonna get a very loose sketch here first off. Look how just loose and junky this is. Um, we just have to get the main points across here. Um, okay. Let's get this uh, torso. She is um, gonna be standing with the sword as usual. This is kind of awkward because I'm looking around my camera, but whatever, we'll figure it out. No excuses. All right, so there's kind of a, like a blouse or something, half skirt thing. And then hopefully this doesn't get out of screen long-ish legs and then this leg will be kind of down and then kind of bent as she's walking forward and then let's see here just another arm kind of going somewhat forward these are just the basic outlines we're going to be very loose with this in the beginning and then we can dial in the details as we go. Yeah, whatever, we'll figure that out. Okay, um, let's see here. Now this head's obviously too big, right off the bat. So let's take some of that off. Oh man, this is awkward trying to look around my camera, but oh well, we will figure it out and that will be awesome. Okay, so she has this kind of like face mask, okay, that goes over her eyes and it shows a little bit of her chin below it and the outline of her jawline. And then there's this crest in the front. It's this crest here. Um, we will kind of shade that side in because again, we have sun coming from this direction, light source coming from that direction. Okay. Now there is these sort of like wings, almost like the Gallic chieftain type wings. Hopefully I don't, oh, I just kind of made them look like Viking horns. That's not good. I'm gonna try and get those farther back, I guess. So they don't look so much like horns. And then we'll kind of shade in the inside here. And this one's kind of shaded too, okay. A little more shading there. Um, the head might still be a little too big, but we'll work with it. Okay, so there is kind of a neck scarf going on right here. And then you have sort of a larger scarf that goes around. I've already drawn her twice, by the way. Um, that's why I'm, I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing. I just decided to um, try it twice. This was all on the recommendation of a subscriber named Pepsi Man. So thank you, Pepsi Man. So um, we'll fill that in right there with some shadow. And then this, this sort of border here will be kind of in shadow, but you can see there's a little bit of like um, a pattern or something going on here. And then yeah, I can't actually see that on the screen, but okay. So she has hair coming out. She has this long red hair that kind of flows out and it's blowing in the wind. Um, so let's get that out there and let's give it some, let's give it some character to try and make it look like it's blowing up. Okay, that looks okay. It's going in behind her helmet here. This isn't super detailed, it's kind of far away, I guess, but let's just try to keep the consistency of the hair going on. We can work on that later. Okay, so this area is in shadow. Okay, now you have this area where she has a, um, a shoulder plate. Now, if you've seen any of the Elden Ring cinematics, um, she kind of attaches this shoulder plate to herself. 
which seems to be a theme. People can kind of just attach limbs as they go in Elden Ring. Not sure what that's all about, but I'm, I'm with it. Um, and then his arm's kind of down a little bit. And it is also in armor with a sort of a plate look to it. Got to make it look metal, so leave a highlight, okay? Leave a highlight there. And then there's this gauntlet. She has really long arms. There's a gauntlet here, which I think my hand might have been a little too far forward, but we'll figure that out. The thumb comes down, and then the rest of the fingers are curling up to grip the sword. And then this sword, which comes out right here, let me get rid of this little bit. The sword comes out right here and is very long. Okay. That's her long sword, which she impales her enemies with. Let's give that a little bit of shading, but leave a slight highlight on it. I want to give kind of the look of a uh, metal object there. Okay. Then we can shade in some of this. We'll put a little bracelet. But this is metal here. So remember to leave the highlight. Okay. There's this little thing here, but I don't know. Let's keep it moving. Um, okay, so now the torso. Um, the torso is like this. Make sure it comes into sort of a thin waist. And then there's this high belt here. Okay. Let me get a little shading there. Get rid of this. Um, the torso has this sort of high belt here. And then there's also a uh, belt going around the, or going across, like a cross, cross uh, belt of some type. Let's give that a little bit of shading, but leave a little bit of a highlight there. And then we want to kind of, we want to kind of shade below the chest. And then, oh, I forgot, there's, a, um, there's another scarf here. Okay, so draw this little line here, and then you're going to want to make some areas darker than others because obviously these are folds and creases in this particular uh, scarf, okay? Okay, now this is fabric, so it's not going to have the type of highlight that say metal will, so you want to kind of fill it in almost completely. Um, but then you want to, again, make some areas darker than others, okay? In fact, let's shade this a little bit. Sorry, I'm getting distracted, but I can't really, uh, can't let that go. We'll make this crest on the front of the helmet more visible and then kind of outline this a little better. Okay, hopefully that's okay. Um, now, there's these lines that come down here, which is part of the, um, the shirt. Run these lines down, okay? And then just fill in darker areas where there's shadow. You know there's gonna be shadow on this side. Sun's so coming from here, so do your shading properly. And then, we get to uh, sort of the belt line here. So we have this belt, same thing applies as it did to this belt. Leave a little bit of that highlight, just a little bit, okay? Oh, by the way, I'm using a, uh, this is probably a 2B pencil, but I'm not actually totally sure, because it's just some cheap pencil I picked up at the store. This is also cheap printer paper. I'm doing this on cheap printer paper and uh, cheap pencil, just so that anyone can do it. Um, it feels like a 2B, but I'm not actually sure, because it doesn't say on it. Yeah. So this has sort of a, uh, a chopped up uh, lacy type design. This um, bottom side of this skirt here, okay? 
Um, let's do this. There's another belt, by the way. Let's do that belt real quick. Same thing applies. Leave a little bit of a highlight and then just shade just a slight bit, okay? Okay, now this thing here, this skirt, shade and then leave white. These are stripes. She has these stripes on her, uh, on her skirt. So leave those stripes there. And, okay, let's see. Looks okay. Now we might have to get rid of some of these because we have to shade this side in. Remember, this is all in shadow on this side here. Okay. Alrighty, um, now uh, let's do this side. This side is in fabric down to just past the elbow. So we wanted to make it look like it's in fabric. So give it some gray there and then just fill in, darken the areas where the folds are. Okay, the folds are kind of always going up like that. And then, sorry about any ambient sounds. My boiler was just running and then I can hear my kids upstairs, but it's just what it is. Okay, so there's that. And you can see it's, uh, these are the folds here. Just darken them up as you need to and leave lighter areas. It'll suggest that there's folds. Okay, and then take her hand out this way and do the, you can pretty much only see two fingers. So it's kind of lucky for us. Okay, and then we'll just kind of give a little slight shading there to suggest it's just skin color. Um, okay. Alrighty, and then now we're working on the pants. And the pants are also fabric. So we'll just shade these in. Go a little darker at the top. Actually, we need to outline this better. The skirt area. Okay, kind of shade it in. And then once again, with your fabric, because this is how you're drawing clothing, you're just shading certain areas more than others. Oh, this might not turn out so good. We'll see. She has kind of a loose, loose fitting pants on, I noticed. So, um, so, uh, just gonna outline those. And see, right here it's darkening, so we're kind of losing that. Um, Probably better not go so deep on that one. Um, and then these, this one comes out and then it goes back a little bit as she's kind of walking here. Now, I'm not gonna put a ton of detail into the feet because I think she's actually technically barefoot. Um, and she's got like these metal things that go over the, the foot. So we'll just do that. And then we will give the impression of feet here. Oh yeah, it's too small. You're not gonna be able to see much there. It's unfortunate. How much detail, and plus I can't really get close to the screen my phone's in the way, which I'm recording on. Um, so anyway, we'll do, we'll do the, the foot on this side. And do the toes a big toe, and then several little toes there. Not a lot of detail, because um, it's kind of coming straight on at you. Okay, now there is a cape. This cape runs out like this into the wind. And just make it have some curves and waves. Okay, because it's flowing behind her in the wind. Um, Shade that in a little bit. Don't want to go too crazy. Again, we'll lose the lines. Okay, so shade this in for the most part. Um, and in certain areas, again, to give the impression of shadow and folds, you're going to want to go a little bit darker in certain areas. So right here, there's a fold. Let's run that fold up. And then it gets lighter 
And then you go back here, and then you just darken that up. Okay. You can see how it, it starts to take shape. It's not just a flat object. It's kind of, it's kind of got some uh, depth to it. So, yeah, there we go. That looks okay. Um, and then there's also a smaller one kind of comes out. It's almost like on the upper back. And let's also do something like that here. So shade, but then darken in certain areas to show depth in the folds. Okay, it's not terrible. His hair could be better. But again, I am limited. There is some like little designs or whatever on your helmet. Just do some little things. All right, so that is Millennium. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.